Hello everyone, welcome to Scratch Basics. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the graphic effects in Scratch. The first effect is color. As you can expect, this changes the color of the sprite. One thing you should know is that you can only get back the original color by setting color effect to zero, even if you think it's back to the same color. You can also create a rainbow effect using this. The fisheye effect distorts your sprite like this. Using this effect you can create some pretty funny cursed images. Next up is the whirl effect. This effect will create a spiral with your sprite. You can also spiral it the other way around if you change it by negative. The pixelate effect will pixelate your sprite. The mosaic effect will create duplicates of the sprite and create a square. Every 10 units, it will add one more in length. The brightness effect controls the lightness or the darkness of your sprite. And last but not least, we have Ghost. Ghost controls the transparency of your sprite. If the ghost effect is set to 100, it will become totally invisible. Here's an interesting way I've used ghost before. Whenever I want my screen to flash red, I will start with the red flash completely invisible, then quickly show it, and then quickly hide it again. This is what it looks like. Remember that you can use multiple effects at the same time. You can clear all graphic effects with this block. Keep in mind that whenever you stop your program, all the effects you've changed in the middle will be reset. It. These effects also work on backdrops. Make sure to leave a like if this video was helpful. And subscribe for more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching. For more beginner level Scratch tutorials, visit our Scratch Basics homepage at chromeworks.ca slash basics.